All right, now you're going to like this one here. I told my gyno I wanted to be sterilized, but she said I might meet Mr. Right. All right, so here we have, obviously, this woman is an uber-liberal leftist. All right, she's fairly attractive. All right, and now in this particular one, she's a 22-year-old woman, recently went viral on TikTok. After reenacting a conversation she had with her gynecologist about the possibility of getting her tubes tied. A procedure formerly called tubal ligation. That's a form of medical sterilization. So, basically, what the gyno told this woman was, Hey, you're 22. You might, miss, you might meet Mr. Right one day. And this procedure is not reversible. So she said, well, perhaps you should get an IUD. And this particular girl went absolute ape shit. Did this TikTok video about how she should be allowed to uh, do whatever she wants to her body. And, and she's 100% correct. She's 22. She can make big boy decisions. Uh, and it is what it is. Now, I will say this. I'm north of 50 and I'm on the back nine. All right. Every single day is one click closer to the conveyor belt, which is going to put me in the dirt. In the time I've been here, I've learned a few things. One of those things is women mature faster than men to a point. But once they reach the point where um, they realize men are attracted to them mentally they pretty much shut down and they remain where they are for years and they age much slower than men after that point and uh, women make all kinds of irrational emotional decisions because we all know emotions change facts logic reason and reality doesn't And I have come across quite a few women in my time that once they get to the age of like 26, 27, there's a, th a thing called baby rabies kicks in. And a lot of women, th this affects a lot of women. I would say most. All right. Now, when I say most, that's anywhere between 51% and 99%. It's a big range. And they go absolutely nuts. And then you have women in their like early to mid 30s freezing eggs or going to sperm donors to have kids and doing all kinds of wazoo shit. Or they wait till they're 40 and they literally roll through three or four hundred thousand dollars trying to get pregnant. Okay, and even if they do, they have a hard time carrying it to term because the tobacco purse is worn out. You can put all the new eggs you want in the old tobacco purse. It's still an old tobacco purse. And it's going to leak and it's going to look ugly. It's not going to work right. You know, they may or may not have a nipple on it. You milk nicotine out of it. That's a side note. All right. So this is like pretty much, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty much on the side of the uh, doctor here. Because she is only 22. Now, with that being said, I really have no problem with the uh, the libs, the progressives, the socialists, the communists. They can sterilize themselves all they want. I, I don't care. And, and I hope they do do it. Okay. But it is what it is. Now, the IUD thing, I mean, it's a good viable option. You don't have to worry about it. You put it in. You do what you want to do for as long as you want to do it. And if your tobacco purse, you know, isn't all beat up, then maybe it'll still work for, you know, having a kid or two. Hopefully you're, you're not going to suffer from HPV. Uh, and that stands for the high penis vagi uh, vagina syndrome. And that causes all kinds of problems. I don't know. I thought you guys might like this because, uh, we're starting to see more craziness like this pop up. 
All right, now this is from the New York Compost. They do like to run a lot of feminist propaganda, but uh, it is what it is. Now, on the flip side, if you're a dude and you want to get a vasectomy, a lot of times the doctors will go, um, are you married? If you say no, they're like, well, we're not going to do it. Or do you have kids? If you say I don't have any kids, they're going to say, hey, I don't want to do this either. And in some places, you actually have to have, if you are married, you have to have the wife present to give permission for you to get your, to your, 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 get a vasectomy. They cut your, they cut your tubes and then there's a bunch of smoke. And I had it done once. It was absolutely painful and it didn't take. I'm not doing it twice. Okay. Fuck that. But, uh, you know, this is a similar thing. And men have been complaining about that fact for decades like in the 70s and early 80s if you wanted a vasectomy you pretty much had to have two or three kids already other than that it was a no bueno they weren't going to do it so it is what it is (laughs) you gotta laugh gentlemen you gotta laugh you're gonna cry let's see what we got here in the comments Uh, yeah, can you believe that? All right, here's another thing about that girl who wanted to get the uh, her tube side is this. Women enjoy between, was it two dozen forms of birth control? And if you want to count the morning after pill, it's about 25. All right, never in all of human history have women had more options to not get pregnant than in today's day and age. All right. And not only that, but they don't have any accountability because they have all of these methods at their disposal not to have kids, but yet they still insist it's their right to murder a child in utero or even after it's born, in some states, some of the proposed laws are up to 28 days after the child's born. It's fucking murder. All right? So, we've gotten to the point where women are so unaccountable for their actions that they want to legally be able to murder their bad mistakes. That is fucked up three ways to Sunday. I don't know. Call me an old-fashioned guy. I got it. Listen, in my 20s, all the way up to I, the birth of my first kid, I was pro, pro-choice. pro Now, in my mind, you know, it was three months or less. And then I'm like, yeah, maybe-ish. And then once I had my kid and... I'm like, hey, she's pretty cool. My whole attitude changed about the whole abortion thing. All right. I'm still, you know, if if it if it is truly a rape thing or an incest thing, okay, got it. If it is going to legitimately physically have a chance of killing the mother, okay, I got that too. All right, not a problem. Well, other than that, it, 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 fuck it. I mean, that is, I mean, it's, it's beyond egregious, in my opinion. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar.